here from Team MST Negates, bringing you guys another episode of the Market Watch for the Digimon card game. I was planning on doing this a little bit earlier, but since uh, Special Release Booster 1.5 came out, I figured I'd wait until things settled down a little bit and go from there. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to bring up was Omnimon. No matter which version you're looking for, whether it be out of 1.0 or 1.5, they're all extremely expensive. And I haven't refreshed these in a few minutes, so I will do so while I'm here. Uh, so the cheapest alt art for Omnimon from 1.0, $230 and then 99 cents shipping. And this is also from an unverified seller. So if you want to go to a verified seller, well, you're paying an extra $10 more. Well, 9.99 essentially. So, interesting. Okay, well, now we can go to, let me see, yeah, the original version, uh, just the super rare from the release booster 1.0. The cheapest one you can get, which this is a uh, trusted seller, or verified seller, excuse me, let me refresh that. It is now, what, 112, give or take? And, I mean, a few weeks ago, these were $70. So, kind of uh, baffling to see just how high these have gone up. Um, and I think in part that is due to the new Omnimons coming out. Uh, so let me refresh the tab again. So this has gone up since we last saw it. This was 160 something a minute ago. Now it's up to 172. And these are quickly going, going, gone. Again, this is an unverified seller uh, for 172. And then quickly goes up to 190 afterwards. So Omnimon, I'm assuming, again, is still probably the top deck of the, the format right now. Um, so if you want to play it and you want a lot of the Omnimons, you're going to be paying money for it. Even the regular version of the Alter S, not the, uh, Alt Art version of it, is now, it's gone up in price as well. 175 75 for it's 179 Uh, if you're looking to get an Alter S and you don't mind paying this price point, I mean, the alternate art is now officially cheaper. It may not be as cool of an artwork. Uh, it, in my opinion, at least, you know, everyone's going to have their own opinion, but why not get the alt art instead? So it's just kind of baffling to see how high these are right now. And I know, again, these products are not the most readily available. If we look back here, uh, a booster box for 1.5 is still 169. And then for 1.0, it's all the way up to 220 now. So I know these are still relatively difficult to find. Um, cases... $2,000, uh, $2,500, so it, it's difficult to get, and I understand that, and I think that's, it, it makes sense for the price point, but you also have to think about, well, stimulus checks are now coming in, it's tax season as well, so all of these inflated prices probably are going to be here to stay for at least a little bit longer, uh, while people are still getting their stimulus money coming in, or getting their tax returns coming in as well. Uh, looking back at some of the things from 1.0, uh, I don't understand what's going on with War Greymon, uh, at least for the alt art. Again, it's gone up since we had it pulled up without refreshing. If you want it from a verified seller, you're looking all the way at $250. Uh, if you want one, or if you don't mind a non-verified seller, which this guy has uh, 2,500 sales essentially, uh, and a 99.3 review, I, I would say it's uh, a trustworthy individual. Uh, and 140 definitely beats what 240? Is that what it was? Yeah, 249. So the alt art, it, it seen, it, it's weird. It just keeps going up and down, up and down, and up and down. It was trending downwards, but again, as soon as the stimulus money has started hitting people's accounts, tax season maybe, these have spiked back up. 1.0 is not readily available anymore as what it was because 1.5 has now come out. Uh, so these prices are just going to keep spiking. Uh, we can bring up Lilithmon for the first time for her alt art. Let me refresh again. So this one hasn't changed any. Uh, this one had been staying relatively low for a while, I think around like the $60 range, but now we look, it's all the way up to $100, uh, and this one is a verified seller, but you only have very few listings, uh, and it jumps all the way up to 120 So if you want Lilith Mon, at least the alt art, and you don't mind spending the money, I would say get it now, because I have a feeling these are just going to keep going up and up and up uh, in time. Gallant Mon also was one that I had noted. Let me refresh the page. Yeah, so <laughs> they only have one listing for Gallant Mon uh, alt art. So I really like this artwork personally. I have one copy of the card just because I really wanted it. Got it for like 20 bucks because there's a small little uh, factory error on the back of it, essentially. But now if you wanted the alt art, 
well, you're looking at $75 and you can only get one copy, and this is also a non-verified seller. Again, 100% feedback, not bad with the 48 sales. I understand still trying to get uh, a store up and running, but again, if you want a Gallant Mon, well, that's a little unfortunate. And that was all I had really pulled up for uh, 1.0. I wanted to look at a few things from 1.5. Um, so as far as, geez, these went up as well. This was 62 a minute ago. Uh, for alternate arts or other cards aside from Omnimon, what's the most expensive out of the set? Shine Greymon is definitely a really solid uh, card right now. I think a lot of people are really excited to play this. Uh, and this is now the most expensive card outside of Omnimon. And so if you want a verified seller, you're looking at $80 per copy for the alternate art. Now the original artwork, uh, let's see. Let's see what its original artwork price is. $32. So it's not as bad, but I don't know. If you get the stimulus money and you want to go blow it on some shiny cardboard, uh, then yeah, I would say go ahead, get the alt arts. Because these are going to retain a lot more value. But if you don't mind and you just want to play the deck, I think the regular version is probably the more logical answer. And you can get a lot more of them, uh, a lot more readily available. They have at least three tabs. Um, again, Fewer verified sellers on the front page, but it's still not nearly as bad. After that, we have the Black War Greymon Alt Art, which these haven't moved any. I don't really think this is getting used right now, but it is a uh, really beautiful alt art. Uh, I believe it's also a secret rare, if I'm not mistaken, from the set. Yeah, secret rare. Um, I really like the artwork of this, just kind of the counterpart of the alt art uh, Black War Greymon or excuse me, War Greymon from 1.0. Um, I don't think it's getting any play. That's why it's only $50. Uh, so if you wanted this, now would probably be a good time to pick it up because uh, with everyone getting that stimulus in, it's going to keep going and going and going and going uh, until it gets an absurd price, say like the War Greymon. Uh, black alt art. Then right after that was going to be the Old Force Vidramon, which this hasn't changed any. I've seen a few people wanting to play Old Force Vidramon, uh, or just Vidramon line. I think it's a fun line. Uh, probably a favorite from the anime as well. Uh, these are also interesting. It's like $40 and then starting to trend up from there. Again, I would go ahead and pick these up now rather than later. Uh, well, I believe these are supposed to be getting their own deck or reprint something based purely on the Vidramon. So if you don't mind waiting for that, and I could be wrong, but uh, if I recall correctly... It wouldn't be too bad of an idea to wait. And then the last thing I want to bring up from 1.5 is Vmon. So Rookie Rush is still very viable. And this now seems like it's 100% a stable for Rookie Rush. Just because it has jamming. So when you battle, uh, attack directly, it has jamming. And so they can't use any of their security Digimon. Uh, or can't be deleted by security Digimon. So even if it has 12,000 CP or DP, excuse me. It doesn't matter. It's not going to kill your Vmon. You can keep doing it again and again and again. And so, if you want to play Rookie Rush, this is a must. A staple four of easily. Uh, and it's just a rare, which is now $13 for a rare. So, not super surprising, but either way, uh, if you want to play Rookie Rush, I would get this now. Um, I don't know if this is going to get reprint in that uh, Vidramon either structure deck or set. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Um, and I could have heard wrong. So don't take that uh, 100% as truth. But anyways, uh, one last glance, see if anything has drastically changed. Let's refresh the home page. It doesn't look like there's been too much movement. Um, you know, Flower Cannon's still down in price from what it was, which... Yeah, I did call it. Uh, Millennium Mon is up to 35. I thought that was interesting. Crest Mon is only 35 for the alternate art, which uh, I think this is a very interesting, possibly a really fun deck. Uh, if you wanted to bling it out, I would go ahead and get these now because it might get more traction as time goes on, as green gets more support. I think that's the only thing I had to, to really note. Everything else is just kind of standard. Uh, well... Keep an eye on the market either way. Uh, don't just go 
buy everything just based on what I say. Just keep an eye on it. Do what you think's best. Uh, but if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll post another one of these market watches next week. And just as a reminder, uh, we have a TCG affiliate link, so you'll support the channel just by buying things from TCG Player by clicking our link, uh, which is down in the description below. And al uh, also, we're doing a giveaway for when we hit 100 subs. I know it's not uh, Digimon related, but we will be giving away a Yu-Gi-Oh! playmat from the Judgment of the Light sneak peek, uh, and some promos from that as well. So... If you want to be in there, all you have to do is be subscribed and follow the instructions when we hit uh, 100 subscribers. Uh, anyways, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.